Hi! Welcome back to another- Oh shoot, wow, my microphone is all the way over there. <laughs> Let's try all that again. All of it, all over, from the top. Hi! Somebody's ears must have been burning because today we're gonna listen to mm, Baldwin. They must have known I was talking about them because they just sent me their latest track called Hey Na Na Na, which I can't wait to listen to. I'm fairly certain I've heard this song before. At least the title seems really familiar. Like I can almost pull up a melody in my head. Hey Na Na Na, Hey Na Na Na. It must have been a really long time ago. I don't know. Anyway, I'm anxious to listen to this track and get reminded and refreshed of uh, this melody because I feel it's on the tip of my tongue. I've already told you guys about how much I love Baldwin. I've spoken at length about how amazing I think they are and all of their tracks that I absolutely love. But I will say that I still think they're fantastic. I still think that they're wonderful people. And they're just a testament to how kind and inclusive and welcoming and talented this whole Electro Swing community can be. So I brewed some maple ginger tea and let's get into this track. I can't wait. I can't wait. Let's listen to it. <laughs> Mein Herz war fast im Stillstand nach, als ich in ihre Augen sah. Ich dachte, hey, na na na. Hey, na na na. Yeah, I definitely know this song. Mir beugte sich vor, flüsterte etwas in mein Ohr. Es klang wie, ne na na na. Hey, na na na. Na, meine Hand sagte, komm. It's gonna be the only part I can sing. I'm pretty sure the original is in English. Ne na na na. Ne na na na. Oh, this part is... Definitely Baldwin. That sounds very much like their signature style. I'm pretty sure the original song was just about a party. I don't imagine they've changed up the lyrics much. Okay, I love the gypsy jazz guitar with that signature Baldwin bounciness. Hey, na na na. See, it's, anybody can sing along. That's what I love about this track already. I like this part too. Oh, piano in the background is kind of subtle. I almost missed it. Dun, 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 dun. Nice. Yes, that was fun. I like that one. Good one. All right. Yes, I feel like this is definitely another win for Baldwin. And for the vocalist and guitarist as well, Fabian. I dare not try and attempt to pronounce his last name because I've already made a fool of myself on this channel, completely butchering the German language and humiliating myself with my complete lack of knowledge of any German culture whatsoever. But I just want to say, I love Fabian. His voice is so warm and buttery and smooth. 
You know, I almost feel like doing a review of a Baldwin track would be cheating because I have nothing bad to say about them. You know, it seems like their tracks, at least for me, are undeniably cheerful. And I am just addicted to the optimism that their music makes me feel. So let me think. I'm pretty sure this track ticked off everything you'd need for a wonderful electro swing track. You had that walking piano, you had the gypsy jazz guitar, you had Baldwin's signature optimistic xylophone, and then you had Fabian's cashmere voice. Yep, recipe for success if you ask me. But uh, let me have a look at the source material here. <clears throat> it looks like Hey Nanana Na first came out by Vaya Con Dios in uh, 1990 and then it got a remix from Milk and Sugar in 2011 only to get covered again by Baldwin here in 2019. Which brings up a question that I've often kicked around in my head. What do you think about tracks getting covered, remixed? The first example that pops into my mind right off the bat would be Barton Baker remixing Scott Bradley's Postmodern Jukebox's cover of Macklemore's Thrift Shop. I mean, what do you think about something jumping that many times from the source material? I'm not saying at all that Baldwin is guilty of this, by no means. I feel like this version is probably closer to the Vaya con Dios version than it is to the Milk and Sugar one, but that's just my personal opinion. Let me know what you think for sure. I guess the question that I'm trying to ask here is, can a song be covered mixed and then remixed and still technically be the same song? I'm not sure, but I like what Baldwin did here. So, in conclusion, I give Hey Na 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 by Baldwin pumpkins! Let's see, how many have I got here? One, two, three, four. These guys are going into a Thanksgiving pie next week. So what did you think of this song? What is your favorite Baldwin track? Do you have a favorite electro swing remix? Let me know in those comments down below. If you want to keep swinging with me, subscribe to my channel. Christmas is coming. And if you've got enough suspenders and bow ties to cover the entire cast of Peaky Blinders, including the women, may I humbly suggest that you ask Santa for a copy of Threadbare the Traveling Show. It's the perfect book to accompany a crackling fire, a hot cup of tea, and your favorite electro swing playlist. This community is well known for being supportive of one another, and I would be really grateful if I had your support this Christmas. I'll put a link in the description down below. Thank you guys so much for watching, but it's time for me to take it on the heel and toe. I'll see you in the next video. So long! These guys are going into the pie next week. Wah! <laughs>